Well, hello there, you lovely people. I hope you're all doing bloody well. My name's Mikey, and welcome along to another episode of Draw with Mikey. Episode 57, I believe. Wow. What a time to be alive. For those of you who are kind of new to the channel, hello, welcome along. Um, basically, this is the midweek series, usually on a Wednesday or a Thursday. It's super unprofessional, super casual, so swear word alert, spoiler alert. Uh, I just draw whatever I want in a sketchbook or just sketch around some ideas on a tablet or digitally. And hopefully you guys are maybe just kind of following along, getting your own artwork done in the background or working on any project because really... Um, I'd love to hear about it. Anything you're working on, art or otherwise, it's always curious if you're kind of doing something creative. Uh, the main crux of this is that it's my opportunity, of course, to read through the comment section, see what's going on with you guys, and just kind of chill out and touch base. And then obviously you can get yourself in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it next week around. That's how it all works. So what's going on at the moment? Game of Thrones Season 7 is out. I'm quite excited again, I won't lie, in that I completely kind of lost interest in season four and season five of Game of Thrones because I'm a bit of a purist for the books and they got, went off and did their own thing and I was just like fuck this shit um, but basically now that it's kind of getting back on topic I'm getting all juiced up for it so I thought I'd kind of ride that whole you know hype train or trending topics or whatever and basically do some Game of Thrones character stuff probably for the next few weeks and maybe slip it into some Patreon stuff as well maybe if I can find some space to do it but I've got some juicy ideas in the back of my head. As such today I'm just going to be working on that new toy the Huey on tablet um, they didn't pay me to say that and basically just uh, play around with some Arya Stark stuff kind of imagining a slightly more animated anime or manga version of her from the post weasel phase where she's just hanging out with a hound back in season four i think i should know i've done a cram on it um anyway so that's enough introduction enough rambling what's going on with you guys what have you been typing in the comments from the last episode a dorky english guy says hey mikey hello a dorky english guy I'm returning to the channel after a long art break, and you're my go-to for inspiration. Oh, thank you very much, good sir. I see you too are a user of the Hueyon G220. <laughs> this is going to sound this sounds weirdly like a paid advertisement. Um, thank you very much, not Hueyon, who's a dorky English guy. Um, I bought mine about eight months ago, and I love it. I have the gear, I have the software, I even have one of those gloves with two fingers on it. Nothing sexual, you dirty-minded people. Just lack motivation. Before YouTube was your motivator, how did you push yourself to improve when the mood didn't take you? That's a very good question, sir. Firstly, <laughs> let's talk about these gloves. Like, if you guys like your R2 digital stuff, you probably know what's going on. They're those gloves where... It's a glove that only covers your bottom two fingers, your pinky finger and your ring finger, and still goes around your wrist so that you don't smudge um, or overwork. Just general art surfaces to kind of keep the greases of your hand off of stuff. And when working on a monitor, it stops you kind of like fouling up the monitor or it kind of thinking that you're pressing stuff if it's a touchscreen bad guy. Basically, what I'm getting at is if you're doing some artwork and you're wearing one of these gloves and you've got a friend who has no experience in art and doesn't know about it, you're obliged to explain what that glove is for because it does not look right. Like, you look like a wrong un. It's like a glove where you expect to have your first two fingers just constantly kept somewhere snug and warm and tight and maybe a little bit juicy. Um, but it's, you know, during winter when you're giving someone a knee trembler. So maybe your bottom two fingers are still on the outside because she's not that relaxed yet. So then you've got a glove that only just covers half of your hand. That's the story. Like, in a split visual second if somebody's not into art to be fair even if you know all about it when you see a hand in that glove that's the very first scenario you think of and you're just like gross <laughs> gross dude um but more importantly what were you saying oh yeah and um, before youtube was your motivator oh so yeah that's a really good point we have covered that in a few dwms many many moons ago i think um when i kind of talked about the fact that one of the oddly good things about doing an art channel on youtube is it forces you to keep doing art whereas you might just lose the mood before youtube mate i like uh i barely did any art before youtube as in in this recent part of my life because i completely fell out of just doing art as a general thing and it's youtube that helped me get back into it way back in the day um the main motivators for me back when i used to love to draw when i was much younger is um like finding really cool juicy looking characters um 
in manga mostly that was like really beautifully put together the more i saw other people's excellent art and design i just used to watch that or read through stories and just think oh man i want to just create a fucking awesome character like this or i want to delve into doing like really deep mixed color tones and stuff like that so for me it's a case of um just input input more awesome stuff if you see excellent manga and stuff like that it gets you in the mood for it uh, what I like to do these days is I'm a massive user of um, Pinterest or Pinterest, the app, which is like just loads of image boards and stuff like that. That is an incredible place to go if you just want to see loads of freaking awesome artwork. Get yourself a Pinterest account, get the app on your phone. I'm not being paid to do that. Um, so, yeah. And uh, also, as a complete aside, dorky English guy, thanks. Great question. Uh, this time around, like these kind of I go on rambles. So I'm going to try to keep my answers fairly short and concise like that, because every time I ramble off a massive side story that nobody's asked for, and then we have to like rush the end of the series because there's loads of you commenting. There's, what is it today? Over 130. That's mental. Thank you so much for um, saying hello or having something to, uh, you know, input. That's freaking awesome. Bloody love you lot. But it does mean I've got to like pace through. Possibly can't read all of them. We'll do my best. Alex Chen says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Alex. I've been on a binge watch of most of these Draw With Mikey videos as I'm working on an art project that's taking a while. Oh, I'm very pleased. That's kind of how I tend to do stuff as well. I binge like more audio based stuff in the background when I've got loads of art instead of maybe uh, listening to music. My question is, have you done any Studio Ghibli art? And if not, will you ever do so? Also, is there a particular reason why there isn't any music playing in these videos? Not that I mind. I play music in the background anyway, so just curious. Also, this video you asked about a series about a protagonist that starts overpowered, but through the course of the series, read more, click, gives his powers to his friends, etc. The closest I can think of is actually My Hero Academia. It's not much of a spoiler, but one of the main characters, All Might, gives his powers over to Deku for Protag, and the story revolves around Deku slowly learning how to control the power all the while. All Might, all the while getting weaker and weaker. Go check it out. Oh, man. Okay, that's a long ass comment. <laughs> so, like, um, damn it. As in, like, so last episode, I was just like, uh, hashtag copyright, it's definitely my idea, you can't steal it. I was like, let's do an anime where, like, uh, or a manga, where if you imagine, like, how One Piece is, everyone's getting stronger and stronger and all that shit. Um, imagine if a manga starts and they've done it, they've done whatever the end of a six year long manga is, and the main character's, like, the ruler of all the things, all the people there are the coolest to all of their shit and the manga starts at that point and he realizes the whole thing is like a horrible cycle that's doomed to repeat itself if he just kind of accepts being a king and he needs to break that chain and realizes that no it doesn't end at the happy ending of a well done story it's not going to be like a a manga that's got a you know six years later scene so you can see like the adult versions and the children and you know when harry potter sent everybody off to hogwarts and they're all fat and old and all that sort of stuff i hope that makes sense but basically no instead he realizes i've got to give up this power i have to destroy my own legend he has to undermine his achievements and like create a false identity where all of the things that he's managed to do um get pushed on to being achievements of other people otherwise like society is going to get caught in this endless loop so I hope that makes sense. So basically, if that is exactly what um uh what did you say? Uh DQ from what did you call it? What do you call it? My Hero Academia. There we go, for it to comment. Um if that is exactly what my hero academia is about, then I'm fucked. But if um that isn't exactly what it's about, I'm still gonna pursue this idea on the side. It's not the other manga I was thinking of, but now I'm thinking about genuinely starting this manga i've been working on only at the story stage in my head um but now i'm genuinely thinking about starting it at the end and now it's about how you've got to and the, the journey we have with the main characters is like exploring what they'd achieved as he undermines it i don't know how to put it it's a really negative theme for, to make for a manga um but like i don't know it just feels like something worth exploring and we'll get back to it uh you also had another part of your comment alex chen uh, <laughs> I'm never going to read all your comments in time if they're all this long. Uh, what do you say? Oh, yeah. Why is there no background music in these videos? Also a very good question. Something I do absolutely completely on purpose because I did think about this way back in the day. Just like I said in terms of I um, personally, like I put on loads of commentary stuff in the background if I'm sitting down for hours and hours of art. Or you, like you lot, might want to play music in the background if that's how you like to get your art done. So basically, if I play music here, one... I've got to find like nearly an hour's worth of non-copyright music every single time we do an episode, um, which is just hassle and effort. And this is more of a casual series. But two, simply because 
If you like playing music in the background when you get your own work done, then this doesn't interfere with it. It's just like audio talking. So that's why it's literally just, you know, my dulcet tones all up in your ear rolls for about 45 minutes to 50. Excellent. So what's going on? Yage Miyami says, Dude, SAO is rushed crap, Sword Art Online, but Sword Art Online abridged is a mental epicness. Or mental epicness, because you're using a lot of caps lock. Uh, the only really great anime can pull your heartstrings um, are real live movies where if they're well written, they can hardly get a feeling from you. Oh, anime is far more relatable in your heart due to the mainly dealing with feelings and trying to reach into your heart as well. So Yage Miyami is hitting on the questioni that was in the last episode, which is basically uh, like, you know, when characters like do shit in films or they die or something like that or something bad happens to them if you're quite invested in them you're just like oh man shit whereas sometimes in anime and manga do you find it harder to be more invested in those types of characters especially when they're really unbelievable or unpractical or too cartoony do you find it hard to care if they have hardships in their like character story or like die and stuff like that so Yage Miyami finds it easier to relate to the anime side of things. Ah, interesting. Oh, and it looks like I'm reading all of your comments out of order. Could you also say, what up fam? Sad that you're sick. Hope you get better really fast. Oh, thank you very much, good sir. I'm way... Oh, way, oh man, I must apologise. If anybody sat through the last DWM, that was just me being so poorly. I'm feeling so much better. I'm not perfect. I'm still clearing my throat a lot and annoying people at work. But I'm I'm definitely back around that 90% mark. Last DWM, I was at like 60%. It was terrible. Anyway, um, just finished your inking dragon human demon half-breed for your comic. Uh, to the sound of your sick low dulcet tones. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, your drawing style is like an anime urban style heavy on the circle. So just imagine her dragon scale placements. Devil face. Um, when you find a sliver of time, check out the Chinese anime Quan Zi Gao Shu. Uh, it's really good for something outside of Japan. Thank you for the suggestion. I like suggestions. Control C. Open a new tab. Paste into Google Images. This is like what I do now all the time. Steal your ideas. Nice. I've got that prepared for later. One of the characters has an umbrella. One of them looks a bit like Vega from Final... Oh my god, I was going to say Final Fantasy. What a fucking arsehole. Vega from... Um... Street Fighter. There we go. <laughs> wow. I had a real moment now. I had to sing my way to the title. Uh, so yeah, Blue Saber Wolf MC says, Mikey! Hello, Blue Saber Wolf. A red-haired girl from high school D times D is Rias Gremory. Of course it's Rias Gremory. Thank you very much for reminding me. Um, my wife, you say, so is Azuna from SAO. I knew it was Gremory. So here's the thing, like, uh, if any of you guys have ever played... Um, oh, I'm going to struggle to remember. It's a PlayStation 1 game for you older gens. And it's done by Squaresoft. And it's like... Oh, it's not Vandal Hearts or Vandal Guard or Vandal Gate. But basically... It's like an RPG where you follow this guy and you pick up like grimoires or grammaries and you kind of use them to help build up your skills and had this really weird, unique chain combo attack, depending on how far away an enemy was. As long as you like got the strikes right, like you combo change your skills of a weapon, but it lowered other stats as you did it. Oh man, what was that game? Oh damn, that's going to really bug me. I'll have to look about that in the background. If any of you guys have any idea what I'm talking about, Get in the comments and let me know. Uh, so anyway, what are you saying? Also, here's something you, for you to have a look at as well. It's an okay anime. It's called Keijo, and it's about girls who do the sport where they fight with their butts and boobs. Uh, <laughs> I've heard of Keijo, Blue Saber Wolf MC. And you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to fucking watch an anime that's purely about that. That just tells me, and I know it's really bad to judge a book by a cover and make preconceptions about life, but that just tells me that anime is just fan service and it's probably just shit. Do you know what I mean? It's for people who are going to borderline right into it. No, fuck it. If I'm going to start watching up for anime, I want to watch good, thorough anime. Keijo, if they're really booby and butty, I'll just look at some screen grabs on Google, stick it in a folder and use it as drawing reference maybe in the future. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the kind of thing I actually want to sit down for because I don't genuinely think it's going to be a good story. Visually, it might be a great suggestion, sir. Um, but oh, nah, I'm not going to sit for a few episodes of that. I just can't see it happening. Uh, do bit of do. And you also say you're not actually doing anything whilst you watch. You only have your phone with you and you normally look up pics on drawings. Uh, but you're watching Mikey on it. So yeah, hashtag hardcore crew. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Watching a bit of DWM on the go. I do appreciate it. Zarek Skipter says, hello, Mikey. Hello, Zarek. Kind of new. I hope you read this. Well, I am. I hope you're pleased. New to the channel and have already binge watched most episodes. Love it, by the way. Thank you very much. 
always keep you in the background because the podcast feel is real nice. Yeah, that's what I'm going for, but I don't like really know how to make it work. As for, as for suggestions, anything cyberpunk would be nice. I hope not to get buried in the comments. And again, love your stuff. Keep it up. Thank you very much, sir. What's so like cyberpunk stuff for future fan arts and things like that? That's all very fine and well. Uh, we'll get on that. Uh, Lich Fang says, hi, Mikey. Hello, Lich Fang. Can you do a tutorial about placing hands and legs? I can draw them good, but I don't know where to put them on the canvas. Do you have any tips about that, by the way? I love drawing whilst watching DWM. Excellent. Hmm. Hmm. Where? Placement. So, if you can already draw hands and legs, well done. A lot of people can't. It's a real bugger. Um, <clears throat> I genuinely... Genuinely? I generally... There we go. Also, I'm not lying. I generally um, start from the head, go from the body down when I'm building up a framework. Shoulders go to arms and arms go to hand in that order. So um, that way, like, you can kind of roughly understand where your pose is going to be or what kind of spring and flow it's got. If I've got a hand interacting with something or the hand is, like, really foreshortened to the viewer, I then actually tend to get the head and the main body of the character out of the way, maybe the shoulders, and then I do the hand first, and then I join the hand back to the body with the arm. If the hand placement's really important, I start there, like if it's holding a knife and I want the knife to be at a certain position in relation to the body, or it's like waving right at the camera or something like that, or something's foreshortened right down the arm, then it doesn't hurt to start at the hand and then work your way back. I think I covered this a little bit in a foreshortening tutorial, I think. Um, go have a look. Hopefully that episode will be of some use to you. But yeah, there's different ways to go about it depending on what you're trying to do with the image and depending on really how important the hands are for any given scene. Typo Dude says, To be honest, I think that in either live action or anime, my level of caring for their deaths depends on how much I can relate to the character, correct, I agree, or how much their story was built up. For example, if Naruto were to die at the end of Shippuden, everybody would feel for him because all of that stuff and the build up that he had. But that has more time for a build up on a character. In a live action film, it might be very, very short, so they have to build up a character's story very quickly and might just forget about other characters. So when other characters die, it's like, meh. But when the focus characters or protagonists and antagonists you might say die something bad happens to them you can really feel their pain unless their deaths in a really tragic way but that's a different story hashtag harku cruel on all of your vids hashtag sip of tea hashtag my life hashtag dwm oh wait a minute don't know if you can hear that noise t crew over here let's have a sip you know this um so yeah i and I, I agree completely even if an anime might not be amazingly animated it helps if it is um <clears throat> If there's really good character development to the story and I can relate to them or understand their motivations, yeah, I'm going to feel much worse if like they get screwed over in a story or they die. Much in a very similar way to a live action piece. But in a live action piece, you can already relate to the fact that they're human. And I think with a lot of anime and animation, it kind of has to sell the idea of that being a reality to you ever so slightly as well, which I think gives them... It might not be a big issue because... Some people deal with it so well. In fact, going back to an earlier comment about Studio Ghibli stuff. No, I haven't drawn in that style, but bloody hell, I'd love to. I'm going to get to grips with that sometime. Studio Ghibli appears to like deal with this so incredibly well that there is no hurdle for them, maybe. Or they're just that smooth and that good. Where you get so invested in their stories. They're magical, man. Um, but other anime and like series, I've seen that be a bit of an extra hurdle they have to deal with that live action doesn't. Um, but yeah, I know exactly where you're coming from. Good sir. Troll la 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 says that moment when you wish he was the actual character in a one punch man instead of that one guy. Oh, troll la la la. Don't you worry. So that's the twin cause genus I was doing last time. A fairly more just chilled idea I had that I wanted to work on as opposed to anything too raunchy. But yes, twin cause genus is... Um, another theme that I've got going on in the back burner. So many back burners these days. Uh, Stein's Choice says, Personally, it's neither easier nor more difficult to feel for characters in regards to the medium they're in. It's different for sure. Maybe it's more attention grabbing as a concept for animated work and more directed for the particular character for live action. It's hard to word it, but I probably don't make sense. Anyway, I should make a habit of commenting more. Yes, you should. It's always great to have chill art time with Mikey. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you guys along. Obviously, that's the point of this series. Um, so. I think maybe Stein's Choice, you're kind of getting at what I was just mentioning in that it doesn't matter if it's anime or live action. A bad character that's badly written is disinteresting and a good one that's really well written is compelling, regardless of medium or genre. Same for books, I guess, in that case. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, Pyro Ignis says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Pyro. Do you have a method of staying focused on drawing? I get distracted very easily and was wondering what your modus operandi is. Music? Watching your own DWM videos? I must know. Uh, so yeah, I think I've already semi-answered your question. 
Um, if I'm like working on a piece that I really want to get sucked into, the right kind of music that like really gets you into it of a style is an absolute game changer. If you can have like album after album on in the background or set your whole iTunes playlist up, you're going to smash out so much work and it really gets you in a vibe. It's really, really good. Personally, I've recently moved over to um, more talky stuff um, just because I guess it's one of those things where like if you're just going to stay um, in all evening or spend like all Sunday drawing, you want to like hear human voices. So I'm really into, <laughs> this is the saddest fucking thing, I've said it before. I'm really into uh, films, but the audio commentary to films or like even worse, not even the film, but as YouTube channels where people watch the film and they comment on it, like uh, Oliver Harper's um uh, retrospectives and stuff like that i play loads of that shit in the background it fucking makes my day um that and sometimes some audiobook stuff although like i try not to get too wrapped up in audiobooks because i'm a big fan of a paper version uh so yeah i do strongly recommend to anyone get drawing with music and really pumped music will really pump you up for drawing just like angry music makes you work really hard at the gym um but if not that if you're having a really long sit down but maybe it's a bit more casual for you uh yeah like audio stuff smack the radio one um just something in the background i think really helps uh drawing in silence is maybe a really good way to get really focused but i like to kind of just mix it up and get the juices going a little bit personally as well what about you what's your particular way for any of you guys do you like the music in the background maybe we'll make that the question if i remember uh what's your vibe blue def 57 says hi mikey hello blue def i absolutely love drawing and good <laughs> mate so do i it's a great shout uh since i found your channel and started trying out your techniques i've gotten loads better oh good to hear i love you so much keep it up and get well soon thank you very much blue def love you too feeling much better samurai Torbert, i always watch your vids but never draw anything oh that's that's totally fine welcome along Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I say like I say like this series might be useful for people getting work done in the background, but you don't have to. Like whatever works for you. I'm just like actually grateful that you click on the video, that you press the button on the thumbnail and let the video play a bit because it's great. I get like a tiny bit of advertising revenue. Helps me pay the rent. Makes me a happy man. Dr. Hook says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Dr. Hook. Uh, love the videos you make, man. You were so very close to reading my comment last DWM, but you ended up running out of time. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. So here I am again. I'm pretty sure you might have read my comment after the video, but just in case you didn't, here's a shortened version of what I said. Could you uh, do a DWM or tutorial on how to draw robots like the ones in Transformers? Also, you should go check out the Mary Doodles. She's an amazing watercolor artist I love to watch on YouTube. Hope you're having a great day or night. Hope you're having a great day or night too. Dr. Hook. I doubt your doctorate or legitimacy of your Hook School of Medicine. Uh, oh, sounds like Sook School of Medicine, which is a genuine thing from June, but that's just because I'm a geek. Let's have a look at your suggestion. Merry Doodles. Control C. It sounds like a YouTube channel, so let's just open a YouTube tab real quick. Isn't it nice how you get to hear the things I'm clicking in the background? It's that. Pro when I say this is unprofessional, I mean it. It's like, I'm not going to edit this out. Merry Doodles. Subscribe. Just drawing stuff. Excellent. I'll check out that channel later, but she's now part of my subs list. Let's sip some tea. Diaz Farley says, do you know about the Apple Black Manga? Diaz, I have not read it, but I am very aware of it because the guy behind that is like one hell of an artist. And he's, he's got loads of great tutorials as well here on YouTube, especially about um, uh, getting like manga style stuff done. I've done a fair few tutorials on how to draw certain elements of character types and so on got loads still to do whereas he does a lot of tutorials on a load of things about drawing and manga in uh, you know particular so yeah i do know um i am subscribed he's very good Moncor says frame by frame is not an easy job so i consider animators good ones to be doing a noble deed very huge prop to japan to be honest yeah frame by frame cell animation uh, a lot of it big studio stuff like ghibli's still done in japan um a lot of that stuff gets exported like uh like people who do the key animation and the main artwork um, and then they'll just like send off to Korea and China and uh, loads of other countries now um, and make other people sit and do all the grunt work like cell after cell of particular animation because it's much cheaper to export the labor um, or which is much worse they just go digital and it's really fucking awful hashtag berserk what the fuck is happening I haven't even started watching season two but don't get me angry Typo dude, uh, can you draw Leanne from a video game called Paladins? And what type of video games do you enjoy the most? I like FPS and m -m Mops. Uh, massively multiplayer online RPGs, I think that stands for. Uh, firstly, Leanne from Paladins. Let's type this one in. 
I have to type at a really funny angle because I've got the uh, microphone on the uh, desk. Paladins. Images. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll add that to the list. And uh, wait, what was the other part of what you were saying? I've just got to click all the way back to the other tab. Uh, yeah, video games. So um, there is like, there, I used to, um, sub 100k crowd, love you guys, uh, play video games on and off on the channel as well. Because basically, this is like an art drawing theme channel. But it's just because art and drawing is kind of my hobby. This channel was genuinely me just doing things I like to do. Um, so it used to also include some video games. Uh, I <laughs> I've played quite a few because I did some PS3 catch up. I've still got loads of PS3 titles to go through. So I like any video game that's very good. But I'm not a fan of soccer video games or football here in the UK where things are said correctly. Um, and I don't mind racing games, but I don't massively go out of my way to buy them. Um, maybe Gran Turismo? Was that the one where you had to work really hard as well? That I really got into because I love the fact you had to save up for better cars. Um, but yeah, for me, um, I love a good RPG. I love action RPG and like a good action story thing. What I don't love, but what you guys seem to really, really like is horror video games. So some of the most popular stuff in terms of video games on my channel, which is like a minor thing compared to how popular the art is, um, was playing stuff like Dead Space. If you have a look somewhere on the channel, I've got like a Dead Space scare compilation or just like uh, search up Mikey Mega Mega scare or jump scares or something like that. And you'll see what that shit did to me. Like that shit fucked Mikey up. So I'm like, I am a grown man. And those video games fucking scared the shit out of me. You guys loved it. I didn't. So, yeah, I think maybe more video games are going to come back in the future if I ever go a bit part time at work. Hashtag that's for dream. Um, but at the moment, I don't have the time. I do film cram when I'm not doing this. And I do obviously life when I'm not doing either of those things. So it's really hard to fit in. But I love a good bit of gaming, especially some older stuff. Big Final Fantasy fan as well. Hashtag seven is king. So, um... Oh, and you further say, what if you switch your usual sip of tea, coffee, and take sips of beer, one DWM, and everyone comments, Mikey, what pen do you use? I was just thinking about that randomly. X E X T E E. What does that mean? X D E. I don't know what that means. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag hardcore crew on all of it. Hashtag sip of tea. Hashtag Mike is awesome. Thank you very much, good sir. You hashtag hardcore crewers are, of course, for bad boys. Let's have a sip. That's a good idea, but like. I don't want to be like all pissed and rambling later. Uh, that'd be like quite good if I fuck. Actually, no, it's really dangerous. I'd hate to like do a DWM where I'm just fucking pissed at the very end of it. Isn't there like a if you guys follow Draw of, Draw with Jazz's channel? Firstly, have you seen his new studio vid and did you nearly cry your eyes out? I almost did. I won't lie. And secondly, didn't he do like some live streaming charity stuff? It was like Drink with Jazza, where like he would draw on a live stream. Um, but he'd also like do shots and drink or something whenever there was donations to the charity that he was saving up for. <laughs> That's a fucking mental idea. What a lad. Uh, anyway, Cassius Stewart says, Mikey, how long did it take you to get good? Please reply. Thanks. Cassius. Firstly, I am not good. I have some ability and some skills in some areas of drawing. But just like most of you guys listening along, I'm just another random bloke on the journey of like finding drawing for himself and getting his own style and stuff like that i'm really pleased that you think i am i much appreciate the compliments uh but now i'm just another dude sharing what he's learned basically because like that's the fun of it i want you guys to kind of if you're remotely interested i'm not going to force you now don't worry i'm not going to tie you up and like force a pencil into your hand and staple your hand closed and not let you out of the basement until you've become like the master of art if you're not into art that's totally cool come chill out we'll chat about whatever but if you are remotely into art then yeah i want to like share that stuff that's why i do like tutorials on youtube and don't like hide it behind like patreon walls and stuff like that uh because like i want it to be accessible i want people to like pick up pencils and like chill out and draw stuff uh wait what are we talking about so yeah <laughs> i'm not good but thank you very much borderline went on a ramble there that's what i've got to not do we've got to crack your comments chief hydra says hey mikey hello chief hydra great drawings and i hope that you'll get well soon thank you very much my question i've been drawing real persons with my own anime style in the intent of finding my own manga art style do you think it's a good way by the way i've been drawing like for three years oh man so that's that's like a whole video i have to do completely separately on finding your own art style 
Um, yeah, draw real people. Try to draw in a real sense in your manner. Try to stylize your own manner. Get a feel for it. Find out what works for you. Reach into other stuff you love or if it gets your juices flowing. Pick a match and kind of create your own thing out of it. Um, that's a really like a vague general statement. But uh, yeah, as long as you're drawing, I don't think it's a bad way. There are particular air quotes, good ways to get better at stuff. But I would suggest instead of me rambling about an example, um, just like start searching on YouTube right now. Um, other people's art videos about particular practice techniques or getting good or like how to focus and developing your art style. And hopefully they'll just like, you know, really get you in a vibe. Uh, Jaizu says, thanks for answering my question, Mikey. You're welcome. Your tutorials slowly helped me up my game as an artist and very slowly making progress and trying to make my very first manga. Awesome. I'm still making character designs at the moment, but I hope we'll both achieve our goals. But being the curious person that I am, I'm going to ask, what was your biggest problem in the early days if you're drawing adventure? As you know, mine's shading, but I never heard what was your weakness. Oh, and by the way, the proper way to read my name is Yashiu. Confusing Polish diminutives, eh? Lol. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I was, what was it saying? Yaisu or Yazu. So it's uh, Yashu. <laughs> yeah, I might have been. Um, not Polish, more like Czech. Zapraszam. Mluvita dobrze angielski. Gdejest ani smetra. Stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, God. What is. Like, I've got loads of weaknesses. And we did have an episode a while ago where we talked about what we all kind of generally between us find to be the most difficult things to draw. Um, oh, feet. Feet are tough. Because they like, I don't draw them enough. Um, limbs, angles, like sometimes I've got like my flow down tight. Sometimes I don't. Just much like anybody else. Oh God, what was my biggest weakness back in the day? Oh, I'll tell you what I had a real problem with. Like I couldn't even see it for like almost a whole year of just drawing. This is back when I was like still in school and stuff. But one of the hardest things to get my head around was I wasn't making characters tall enough. I was making like characters that were like less than six heads high and I because I had the paper angle really weird on the desk because I used to do a lot of drawing in science class instead of paying attention because that was a really good idea to do when you were a kid. I like uh, used to just have end up with these really squat characters and I couldn't get my head around why they weren't quite looking the same. Um, but then eventually like I learnt the concept of seeing what you're looking at for real and like measuring stuff with your eyes and that completely changed up the game plan but yeah i used to do like loads of dumpling characters real squatters uh what are your biggest weaknesses as well we can share that this is a safe place the seventh coyote says yo mikey first i hope you get better soon thank you good sir second have you ever watched the anime rin and if not check it out uh, if so what did you think third i tend to find it easier to get in an average movie character than an average anime character yeah in terms of getting into investing in them in relation to that question. Finally, hashtag hardcore crew on nearly all DWMs. I think I missed one, but I don't remember which one it was. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, So, Rin anime. No, I don't. Or at least not off the top of my head. It's not ringing any bells. I, I'm going to share like a little bit of a little bit of a sad Mikey secret right now. Oh, my goodness. Like, uh, I, I haven't watched. Wait, I'm. I'm having a really good think right now to make sure that I'm not lying. Think about it. Think about it. Let's say I don't think, because sometimes I like forget stuff. I don't think I've watched any anime this year so far. How fucking bad is that? Like, I'm really... And in terms of, like, so how to put it, somebody will suggest a character to do for some drawings, and I'll be like, brilliant, yeah. So I will download, like, say, the first three episodes of whatever anime that's from, so that instead of just visually seeing a character, I understand what they're like, what their involvement is in whatever story and what their personality is like. So that's like, you know, air quotes research or something like that. In terms of genuinely sitting down and thinking, oh, I've got a spare evening, I'm going to chill out and put on some anime, like a Studio Ghibli movie. Oh, excuse me, a little burp in the background. I'm not going to edit it out. Um, I... Well, one, I haven't got the time to do that at the moment because I'm just busy with all the stuff I'm trying to get them. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I have. Fuck. I'm just looking around like as if I'm going to suddenly see an answer. I feel like I must have, but I don't genuinely think I have. So Rin, uh, anime, is this related to, what was it, Memazine or something like that? Menezamine? Also known as Rin, Daughters of Menezamine. I'm not saying that right. Okay, excellent. I'll leave that tab open as well. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's go back to the commentos. Necroverius says, Hey Mikey. Hello Necroverius. I tend to draw more realistic figures and portraits. My style is too uptight, much like a draftsman. Do you have any tips to help me break that? Hashtag hardcore crew. Yeah. 
so um, by the way in terms of a draftsman lifestyle like yeah i'm totally from that school of drawing back from my university days uh which is so far in the past the loosening up process you just gotta smash out sketches work faster work looser like uh, you'll get art teachers who are just like right draw this thing in front of you sketch it you've got 30 seconds go sketch it again 30 seconds go different angle sketch it again 30 seconds so that you speed up and you loosen up and i find that like um especially if you watch like uh, any of my other dwms and i'm just filling the sketchbook with loads of little pictures i tend to start on the left because i'm right-handed and i don't want to smudge my work but the first things i start to draw are like horrible they're really uptight and they're all wrong and they just like and that, that is a process of just loosening up and getting the hand used to it and getting the the initial tight crappy befuddled brain idea out of your head onto the paper and it gets like the gunk at the end of a faucet out the way so all the water and juice flows out afterwards horrible metaphor um and then you kind of notice personally i find that the drawings get looser better more expressive better like designed as like you know i go across the page that's a very loose rule of thumb um like zombies pages i remember being a particular example stuff like that uh so yeah loosen up sketch up loads of loads of quick sketches to kind of warm up your hands warm up your brain and warm up your eyes for the sketching nature of things and you'll kind of then be in a bit more of a looser mind state i hope that is of some help to you good sir akumano inu hey mikey hello akumano inu i've got two questions hopefully this comment makes it before the end for the next dwm video well done sir you made it in number one how do i finish a drawing i always get into sketching really well but then after when i'm done and i'm trying to ink the drawing i always end up leaving it unfinished and never complete it the only ones i've finished are small pictures and chibi drawings i've wanted to create my own manga series but looking on how i'm doing my drawings i barely finish them and don't think i'll ever create my own manga series Ooh, that's really weird um i'm definitely a bit of a starter not a finisher as well i guess to some degree let's just set this um once i start inking though i very rarely stop inking halfway I stop a drawing halfway sure stop inking halfway hmm. have you tried might just be a it's all right this might not be a good idea but um have you tried just like uh sometimes i do any other sketchbook just going straight to pen just commit yourself to pen it doesn't need to be a final art piece but literally just go straight down to your pen start sketching out some ideas start sketching up some designs where the ink is on the page and then when you go back to maybe actually drafting stuff up in pencil um you'll be more confident with the ink and how it goes on top instead of treating it like a a precious separate thing that's full of commitment um treat it more casually as well whenever you i watch um like comic book artists and like you'll see an amazing comic book cover for like spawn or something like that and then the guy who does the pencil artwork hands it over to the inking artist the guys who put the ink on those people have balls of steel to commit so much black into somebody else's artwork and you really just have to like i don't know how to put it like get more casual about it and get a bit more blase almost and hopefully you'll be able to kind of like vibe in a little bit more second element of your question how do you get your body to look semi-realistic you draw the legs arms and boobs so greatly meanwhile mine either look like saggy grandma boobs two circles attached to the chest sometimes when i draw a body i make the body too thick and almost looking like they're just a board i think the quickest personal answers i've got to those questions good sir is um check out my tutorial on drawing bodies check out my tutorial on the building blocks of characters check out my tutorial on arms and <laughs> free i look back on it i'm just like wow i did that three separate tutorials on drawing boobs of various degrees um it's just going to be easier for you to watch them than me to kind of try to jam pack it all into one answer the overall theme i say this i say every if i had to guess i'd say every one dwm out of three or four i say this um learn anatomy it only has to be the basics understand roughly what's going on with the skeleton understand the major muscle groups and why they why arms are certain shapes and shoulder curves and stuff and it will help you greatly instead of just seeing different lines for arms on the outside understand what building blocks are behind them and that's going to really help you recreate it uh gar wayne says I haven't been watching you for so long until this video. I thought you were just drawing boobs and butts for the sake of it. <laughs> well, you know how it goes. And you had my respect as an artist. Thank you. But just that. Oh, uh, but now you seem to have a lot more intelligence. And I thought you, but I thought you did. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, prof. Is that a backhanded comment? I'll take it. Um, compliment. Uh, you have my respect as a person and an artist. Oh, thumbs up. I agree with most of your viewpoints on things, especially the end bit where you talked about anime deaths. I never really understood why that was a, more of a 
staple in anime um because good people die I didn't read more click good people oh my god your comment is so long okay so i never really understood why that was a staple than an anime because um good people died in it and because as you said if they're written flat or you just don't care for the character it's not going to mean anything berserk for example no main character really dies past the eclipse and it's just a series of shitty things that happened to the main characters and that's good enough yeah, you're absolutely right, man. You're so right about Berserk. Uh, honestly, I'm invested in the characters. They're so well written, but when bad things happen to them, I care, and it's more impactful than thousands of blank anime characters' uh, names dying. Uh, so good on you, man, and keep up your awesome uh, heart work, maybe you're trying to say, or art. You've helped me with female form proportions more than you'll ever know, and I've been drawing mostly male figures forever, and a female anatomy was just ugh, infuriating. So thank you. Don't stop being you. Thank you very much, Gawain. <laughs> I love how your comment starts really cold, and then you're just like, I thought you might be a prick. It turns out you might not be a prick. Thank you. <laughs> I fucking love that comment. It's so good. Uh, yeah, no, like, straight up. So this is a thing. I've said this before as well. Like, drawing boobs or a busty character or a character their bum out, if you stick that in a thumbnail, you're going to get loads of views. So if I start doing a tutorial and I've got, like, a like sexy-looking anime female character in there, people are just like, oh, I'm just going to give this a little click. And then before they know it, I'm genuinely trying to teach them some art skills and give them some knowledge. And yeah, in a very like casual sense, and it is quite an English thing, so I don't know if it always translates. But like over here in England, it's the most normal thing to be layered like fucking deep in irony. So like, ironically, I probably do come across as a bit of a prick. Um, and if you're not like familiar with irony, then you might actually believe I am a prick because you might think I believe everything I say. But after a while... You kind of get to know that, you know, love's in my heart and I hope the world's a good place. Is that getting too smoochy? But yeah, you know how it goes. If you if people think I'm a prick when they first meet me or an asshole, I get it. Yeah, I can't blame him. It's cool. Uh, Cyberskin says, depends on the anime. I recall being really broken up when... Oh, dude, you're going to throw some massive spoilers. Plug your ears, kids. I recall being really broken up when Roy Falker died and invested in the lives of Robotech characters. Uh, Robotech? Oh my god, was that the cartoon from when I was a kid? And they were like robot ninjas. Am I thinking of something completely different? Robotech. Robotech. Oh, I am thinking of something completely different, not to worry. Oh, I don't know about this. Anyway, Roy dies. Spoiler alert. Snape kills Dumbledore. So let's have a uh, quick check for that booty comments. <clears throat> so yeah, it sounds like then you had to get really invested just for that particular character in order for it to actually have any impact on you. Um, and Cyberskin also says, what did you do for drawing wise when you hurt your arm? Just broke a few wrist bones and my left arm is rubbish. Oh, dude, I'm really sorry to hear it. Uh, just left handed work question mark four weeks out for the right arm due to casts. Dude, that sucks. Um, I, I think what you're referring to is like I went skiing near the start of the year. And then um, of course I did. I tore like a bit of a bone away in my thumb, like my tendon or like ligament pulled away a bit of bone. And I came very close to actually completely disconnecting the ligament of my thumb and actually losing the ability to hold stuff and grip stuff with my right hand for the rest of my life without like surgery. So yeah, that was a fucking close call. But it did mean that um, my hand was all tied up for uh, a number of weeks. Um, basically, I just did what the doctor said. The doctor said, don't fuck around with your hand, otherwise you're going to screw it over. I think he said it a bit more politely. Um, so yeah, I stopped doing uh, YouTube for whatever that week. There was no uploads for maybe two weeks, something like that. And then when I was back on it, um, I was really gently like holding the pencil to pages and doing digital art and just keeping it super, super light until I could get back into it. So like loving art is great. Yeah, practice with your left hand. It's probably going to look a bit, little bit more abstract when you want it to. Um, but the main thing, dude, is absolutely don't push your luck and focus on healing as best as you can and then get back into art afterwards. Like, have, like, a good arm that's not fucked up because you, like, overworked it when you should have been resting it and then worry about getting into art later. That's what I'd say in terms of, like, you know, medical health is probably quite important. Uh, Nina Beza says, can we suggest anything for the video discussions? Yes, you can, Nina. No uh, topic is unallowed, although if it's too filthy or freaky then we probably won't do anything about it but yeah no if you've got opinions get involved and application says lols no 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 don't research trans characters drawing tips it does not end well so yeah was it you who oh yeah you were like saying um for like future tutorials like cross-gender stuff and because we live in 2017 it's a modern world yeah why not um but i did also mention 
it's going to be a very difficult thing to research, like the concept of cross-gender stuff, without having an internet browsing history, which looks very, very odd. Um, anyway, you were st worried about starting some stupid flame war over identity politics, so I edited it down. Just going to say thanks for considering my suggestion. You're welcome, sir. All suggest Oh, fucking hell, I've just clicked more. You've got, like, two more fucking paragraphs. Okay. I'm just going to have a really quick read through this because it'll be take ages. <laughs> I can't. I will read it. Um, so anyways, I hope you feel better, Mikey. Sorry you're sick. Uh, don't overdo it. We need you. Who else will make me get off my ass and draw with their beautiful voice? Oh, thank you very much. That's so, so kind. Uh, currently your favourite channel on YouTube? Oh, you charm me too much. There's way... Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not saying this just to sound like I'm being, like, you know, totally cool. There are way better art channels on YouTube. I watch them. They're fucking amazing. Um, but I'm really glad you stopped by here as well. It's really, really nice. To answer your question, it's harder to relate to anime characters because anime stories are so often so unreal I can't relate at all. Correct. But on the other hand, because they have super emotional faces, I do tend to feel for them faster and for doing less uh, than a live action character. Hell, I can emphasize with a pitch that I have no context for if there's a frowning anime girl. So I think it's a give and take with live versus animated. By the way, sorry my comments are always long. Yeah, did you just hear me complaining? I really do try to keep them short, but always fail miserably. Hashtag hardcore crew. It's okay, but sometimes Mikey has to skip some of them long ass comments in order to read through as many as possible. Um, Estavio Smith says, uh, Sup, Mikey, can you make a video on how to sexify your characters because of my art style and I've kind of mastered female anatomy, but I want to get that Mikey mega mega style in there. Uh, super quick answer. Get them curves going. Whatever you've drawn, make it curvier. Increase the curviness. That's a big winner. And very particular curves and very particular things are sexy as a very loose rule of thumb, like boobs and hips, because they're genetically linked to our concepts of procreation. So we're like hardwired to find that stuff to some degree or another sexy. Uh, Ricky Segundo says, hello, Mikey. Hello, Ricky. Can you make a tutorial on how to transfer a non-anime style to an anime style? That would be very tacos. <laughs> yeah, uh, always up for that. In fact, I like doing that generally. In fact, right now, um, which I guess because we're quite far into this episode is probably like at the colouring stage or something. I did it just the other night. Um, there's like an anime style Arya Stark. Like on the left, she looks a bit more Arya. On the right, she looks a bit more random. Um, but yeah, I like the idea of taking stuff and putting it into a different style. Whether it's stuff to anime, anything to anything. Like have any of you guys seen that really fucked up psychedelic Rick and Morty trailer where like uh, Morty... Um, just drops like some blue gunk oh no that's yeah it's not blue gunk it's acid and so like this cartoon's like maybe like 30 seconds to a minute long but every few seconds it completely changes art style like it was done by a completely different animation crew one after the other mental it's one hell of a trip uh so yeah up for that sort of stuff um kiru wants a coloring digitally tutorial hello kiru uh yes ah yes and yes and no and yes inverts uh, the immediate yeses are the Cindy fan art. I'm going to go into a colouring stage real-time thing uh, for you guys sometime down the line for that. Part three to wrap it up. No invert general tutorials, or at least for the moment, I've still got a list of things I want to do pencil and paper, simply because not everybody out there has like Photoshop and digital drawing tablets and stuff. So I still want it to be really accessible. I want anyone who has a pencil and paper to know that they can dive in and create stuff. So that's why I tend to do a lot of that. And yes, again, because despite that, I've got a whole list of digital stuff I really want to get into as well. Um, whenever I watch, is it, oh God, how, what's it? It's like the, it's like Kieran Lafferty's channel, I think, the KNKL show he does. Like most of his tutorials um, are like digital when he's like going through various ideas. And whenever I watch any of those, it really gets my juices flowing. And I'm like, I want to make tutorials digitally as well. I don't want to draw on paper anymore. But then I'm just like, no, I really do want to get like a few more paper ideas out of the way. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, Jonas asks, how are you with Adobe Illustrator? Uh, back in the day, Jonas, I had to use it for completely technical reasons. Nothing to do with art, so I was okay then. Now I've probably completely forgotten how to do it. But really good for, is it twining and splining stuff if you're really into your animation? So maybe I need to go that way in the future. We'll see. Um, Ethan Solano, I love the way you draw. Thank you very much. I'm so jealous. Keep it going. Thank you very much. I'll do my best. Khalid Mitsat, no vlog from your little trip, you say? No, Khalid. I, uh... So, for those of you who not know, every now and then, because I've got like a vlog channel as well, but I, I barely put anything in there now because I've got no time. Uh, sometimes I feel a little bit Casey neistat and I'm just like, I'm going to bring the camera on holiday and make a really cool vlog and I'll be a vlogger and it'll be great. <laughs> I can't help myself. Um, I bought the cameras for this one 
this holiday we had was like it was a lot of glitter <laughs> it was really um holiday themed basically it wasn't appropriate although oh my god some of the bums i saw some of the best bums this holiday i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna pretend like i'm a perfect gentleman jesus christ so <laughs> yeah it wasn't like we go messy sometimes on holiday basically and it's you can't massively make a youtube video out of that it's not really safe um so yeah no vlog this time around i'm afraid still more in the future i'm sure some ninja says recently bought all the neptunia games during the stream summer sale but only finished one of them so far there's a fair amount of grinding but i kind of figured there would be since it's jrpg i don't mind since i'll just watch youtube on my second monitor yeah that's not a bad idea as well if i sit there and i'm just leveling up on a final fantasy game for old school's sake i probably do have like another screen open with a film on or something else happening at the same time uh, daniel Panilla or daniel Panilla, yes you really should watch boku no hero academia yeah that's definitely on my list in fact if i'm gonna watch any anime having just complained about possibly watching none that might well be it because i know it's really really popular so i want to check it out it's obviously popular for a good reason it's got damn awesome you say and one of my favorites even among my huge anime list also i really do need to draw more have goddamn little time at this point mate i feel you uh, but i hope to get some more in a while and get some more into it art fantastic as always damn thank you very much thank you so much it's very very kind to hear those nice things right for lagos or refugios please do a twitch live stream i want to see you draw in real time Ah, oh. oh my goodness. So, like, I, I don't know if that sort of stuff will ever work, but I will be giving it a try at some point. In that, what was the thing? Yeah, so randomly, obviously you might have had me mentioned before, um, I finally got, like, not shit internet in my house, which is, like, a big deal for me, because um, all my uploading used to be on my phone. Now I can actually upload from my computer at home. It's mental. And they recently slightly nudged up my upload speed for the sake of, like, streaming and stuff. So, yeah, I've got a Twitch account. I've like made it ages ago i've never used it and um i'm gonna be buying like a, a webcam as well so maybe i'll be able to start doing this soon again time is the issue but i'm certainly gonna have like a really tentative test run at a live streaming dwm or something really similar in the future we will see how that goes i'm excited about doing it if we get around to it manly gamer says hey mikey sorry if you're feeling ill i actually caught a small bit of strep oh shit so today i've been laid up in bed sipping some tea and actually working on some character designs you can see the first sketches and such on my art animo manly artists art amino there we go and i find that it's hard to relate to either side if a writing sucks in relation i'm sure to live action versus anime yeah correcto patronum absolutely like poor writing on either end great writing on either end it translates or it doesn't and this ages and ages ago another thing we talked about was kind of like do you prefer good art or good story and for me good art might draw you in but personally i will take not great art over a really fucking well put together narrative and story over a boring story that looks beautiful because i want to get sucked into it and really buy in and like gripping stuff like grips you and beautiful stuff is static and beautiful and looks great but after a while like that's all it is it doesn't feel like there's more to it Zoid Industries says not really, depends on the series or the movie and how well I know the character. Hashtag hardcore crew. You hashtag the world is not a good place, manly gamer. I've just seen your other hashtag brilliant. Uh yeah. <coughs> sorry, it's um just charmed me. Yeah, like um Oh, I was so ill last time. Yeah, like uh you hashtag hardcore. If you are this deep in and you're still watching along, you are the hardcore crew. It's been a while since I've anointed all hard that sounds really weird. All hardcore as you make to the end of a video, but you like your old school is no the vibe. Let's sip some more tea. It's a little bit less delicious now that it's a little bit colder. And this is running long, so we're going to go into wrap-up time. Okay, I've got time for maybe saying hello to a few people and one more long comment. So, Crimson Camellia, Tim, know your goddamn business, Azrael, Eco Boy, Jonah, IH, Laszlo, Sidemi, and Aaron and Co., Thank you so much for writing all these various different questions to bits. I'm sorry I've had not a chance to go through it. Yuki Uja. Uh, oh, Yukija, bonjour, voici mon vlog, merci beaucoup, uh, je vais voir um, uh, plus tard, uh, que ce maintenant uh, n'est pas du temps, and Zen of Six, uh, you spark my muse and make me want to draw more often, I'm really pleased, if you guys want to draw more off of the back of anything I do, then I've done my job, which isn't a job, it's just a hobby, but it pleases me nonetheless, um, do a post says hope you had fun out there mikey will you be bringing back the good old gaming of mikey mega mega us artists got to have fun too you know yeah yeah there'll be some gaming there'll be some gaming i still need to play dead space 2 and shit my pants and stuff like that eric kleps is very nice thank you 
very much all you lovely people uh just going to keep scrolling down i'm just looking for a random question to see if i can also answer it hakim shalosinam says i've watched your t tutorials on how to draw girls and i've improved a lot but it's a bit harder for me to draw males it ends up looking too feminine even after watching those tutorials so i'm going to keep drawing girls in my sketchbook until it fills up and hopefully no one questions why yeah it's not a bad way to do things um yeah, in fact, loads of you guys, when I mentioned it about possibly seeing it, are actually backing up My Hero Academia and saying it does need to be watched. So thanks. I will be doing that. You're absolutely right, said nobody. Um, I have been lacking uh, anime. This is obviously just me complaining to myself. I am going to watch some anime. I'm going to start watching some Boku no Hero Academia and see if it's any good. I'm going to force myself to have a little bit of a window next weekend. Um, and I'm going to sit down and give it a watch. Thank you for the suggestions. All you people, if I've not read your comments, then I'm so sorry that I've had to give it a skip, but, well, you know the vibe, like, it's more of you are involved, which is fucking awesome, but it means it's a bit tough to grab as many comments as possible. If you said something really important and I've not read it, then copy-paste it into the comment section below this episode, and I'll do my best to catch it next episode. I feel like we had, like, a question from somebody, it was a good question, and now it's completely gone out of my mind and I can't remember, but I'll try to remember later and make it the title of a video, maybe. Hope you enjoyed uh, me just kind of doing a really rough colour version of some Aria sketches. If you love Game of Thrones, talk to me about that any day of the week. Hashtag Hardcore Crews at the end. Have yourselves great weeks. Goodbye. Goodbye.